Movie Awards season is officially here, and the 2024 Gotham Awards kicked things off in style. From glamorous looks to surprising wins and heartfelt speeches, this night had it all. Well, I've never been happier in my life. So who snagged a coveted statuette? And who walked away empty-handed despite all the buzz? Which star had an awkward moment? And why? It's all right, it's all right. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, and let's talk about Angelina Jolie, Zendaya, and Timothy Chalamet. Their tribute honors were moments to remember. I love what I do so much. I feel so incredibly grateful that I get to do this for a living. Stay tuned for all the must-know highlights. The 34th annual Gotham Awards lit up Cipriani Wall Street in NYC, marking the unofficial start of a months-long celebration of cinema. This year, 39 films and 25 standout performances competed across nine fiercely contested categories. Before the main event even began, the red carpet was ablaze with stars like Oscar Isaac, Cersei Ronan, Aubrey Plaza, Adrian Brody, Elle Fanning, and many more. I think the nicest thing about being part of the circus is that you get to actually become a part of a group of people that you really respect. Demi Moore wasn't just a guest at the Gotham Awards. She was also in the running for outstanding lead performance thanks to her powerful role in the hit movie, The Substance. I truly feel awed, and humbled, and just, just so grateful to have this opportunity to be, you know, with my peers, with just in celebration of art, the art that we all do. Sharing the spotlight in this category was Pamela Anderson, who's called her performance in The Last Showgirl the most significant role of her career. But I'm really excited that people are loving the film. That's the most important, so I'm just taking it day by day. The actress described the Gotham Awards as a perfect opportunity to reconnect with colleagues and, of course, to dazzle in high fashion glam. Another star who shone brightly that evening was Nicole Kidman. Her film Baby Girl has been making serious waves in the movie world this year, cementing her place as one of Hollywood's most celebrated icons. Just um, so honored to be asked to do it with this incredible female director and and to work with Antonio Banderas and Harris Dickinson and Sophie Wilde. And but when it came to the Outstanding Lead Performance Award, it was Coleman Domingo who took home the statuette for his gripping role in Sing Sing. In his acceptance speech, Domingo graciously credited his incredible colleagues for inspiring and supporting him every step of the way. Please stand up. Thank you. Oh, thank you. And I thank you to every single one of you who do work that makes a difference. I'm proud that I stand in your company. Here's an interesting twist. Since 2021, the Gotham Awards have gone gender neutral for acting categories, with actresses and actors competing head to head. Clarence McLean, another Sing Sing star, took home the award for outstanding supporting performance. And the accolades didn't stop there. Sing Sing also earned the Gotham Social Justice Tribute solidifying its spot as the evening's biggest winner. Thank you for believing in us and for giving us the opportunity to stand here tonight because we're not just telling a story. We're living proof that no matter where you start, you should always be able to dream of where you can go and be. On the flip side, Anora by Sean Baker, despite leading the nominations with four nods, shockingly went home empty-handed. History was made when Ramel Ross received the first ever Gotham Award for Best Director for his work on Nickel Boys. Adding to the film's triumph, its lead star Brandon Wilson clinched the Breakthrough Actor Award. The moment was extra special as ingenue Ellis Taylor, Wilson's co-star and presenter, appeared visibly emotional while announcing his win. Oh my God! Taking the stage, Brandon kept it light, admitting he never expected to be there and joking about going barefoot like Ellis Taylor, who had ditched her shoes for comfort. Anthony and I don't have shoes on. Payal Kapadia's All We Imagine as Light triumphed in the international film category, earning well-deserved recognition. Meanwhile, the award for best documentary feature went to No Other Land, a deeply moving project by an Israeli-Palestinian collective filmed over five years in the West Bank. In the screenplay category, Azazel Jacobs was honored for his work on his three daughters. On the directing front, Vera Drew snagged the Breakthrough Director Award for her bold and innovative film, The People's Joker. 
And then came the night's most prestigious prize, the Gotham Trophy for Best Feature. The award went to a different man, a gripping drama starring Sebastian Stan. The win was a complete shocker at the show's climax, but was met with enthusiastic applause from the audience. I think I'm uh, not the only uh, person in this room who's uh, totally stunned uh, by this. Uh... The Gotham nominees are carefully selected by committees of critics, journalists, festival programmers, and film curators, ensuring a diverse and thoughtful representation of the year's best in film. Beyond the competitive awards, the evening also celebrated several special tributes. Presented by Zoe Kravitz, the piano lesson earned the ensemble tribute, while Franklin Leonard and The Blacklist were recognized with the 20th anniversary tribute. Angelina Jolie was another highlight of the night, receiving the performer tribute for her portrayal of legendary opera singer Maria Callas. The award was presented by the film's director, Pablo Larraín. Jolie noted the poignant timing as the ceremony coincided with what would have been Maria Callas's 101st birthday. In her heartfelt speech, Jolie also paid tribute to her mother for inspiring her love of books and art. But it was her priority. She took me to theater. She told me about meeting Tennessee Williams, and she introduced me to the Lee Strasberg Institute, where I would later study. She's now striving to pass on this passion to her own children. They don't talk about winning an award. They don't talk about a thing. They'll say, I, she, and I'll, you know, I'll hear them say, she, my mom, she works so hard. So I think that, that makes me very happy. That Josh O'Connor had the honor of presenting Zendaya with the 2024 Spotlight tribute for her standout performance in Challengers. The actress's co-star praised her remarkable generosity, saying she always listens, responds, and acts with honesty, calling her a celebrity with a truly kind heart. And lastly, and perhaps most importantly, my neighbor's daughter who said, Josh, dude, Zendaya's the sh she don't mess about, you better be good. Zendaya, visibly moved by the heartfelt words, expressed her deep gratitude to her team and creative collaborators. Without all of them, none of this is possible. But my character is only an amalgamation of the beautiful ideas of the amazing creative people around me. So thank you to the team of challengers. But that wasn't the only recognition for a project featuring Zendaya's work. Denis Villeneuve was awarded the director tribute for Dune Part Two. The evening continued to shine with Timothée Chalamet and James Mangold receiving the visionary tribute for a complete unknown. Chalamet, fully embracing the look of Bob Dylan, shared his appreciation for the opportunity to portray the iconic musician. Yes, I'm feeling incredibly grateful tonight. I'm grateful to everyone who poured themselves into this project, everyone who helped me along this process the last five years of my life. Getting to study and immerse myself in the world of Bob Dylan has been the greatest education a young artist could receive. There was also a funny little moment involving Timothée Chalamet's last name. Actress Aunja Nui Ellis Taylor stumbled a bit while trying to pronounce it correctly. Thankfully, Anthony Ramos swooped in to save the day. Elliot Page, Timothy Chalamet, Michael B. Jordan, Tessa Thompson, just to name a few. Chalamet? Shout out, man, shout out. It's all right, it's all right. I'm sorry. Hopefully, Timothée wasn't offended and took it all in good humor. And here's an intriguing twist. This year marks a big change for the Gothams. For the first time in years, TV categories were absent from the Fall Awards show. Why? The organizers have spun them off into a separate TV ceremony, now held in June. More events mean more stars, more glamour, and more wins to celebrate. As we gear up for the next wave of unforgettable ceremonies, we want to hear from you. Do you agree with the Gotham Awards results? Drop your thoughts in the comments below.